And welcome back, America, to your Caribou Data Science channel. Today is, well, today is Tuesday, July, uh, September the 7th, 2021. And it is time for your daily COVID-19 analysis. Uh, before we get started, I will give a big shout out to the uh, 11 people who watched this video yesterday, and especially to the seven people under 18 who watch this beautiful, who support this video daily, okay? Of course, I have one favor to ask. That is, uh, seven, 11, 11 likes, 11 views should equal 11 likes. I'd really like to see a like from every one of you people who watch this video today. Of course, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click on the share button. Share the video on Facebook and Twitter. And also, you can share it on your, uh, you can also share it, share it, share it, um, uh, share it on, on emails and text messages. So let's go and take a look here. You know, one of the curious things about COVID-19 cases is that how they're being counted. Most diseases, like say heart disease or cancer, they're counted one year at a time. So every year on January 1st, the counter for heart disease and cancer is set back to zero. But yet for COVID-19, we don't, we, there's no reset. We just, we just continue to count the numbers up from January, for cases from January 2020, for deaths from February 2020. We start counting there and we just keep on adding the numbers up, which is kind of curious. So we have to remember here, okay, that this is the total number of cases since January of 2020, 40.01 40, million. Total number of deaths since, uh, let's, let's say March 1st of 2020, uh, 648,000. Now here you can see, the numbers just for the for the uh, cases just for uh, this year. We had a long declining pattern up until July in, in cases. Okay, now we have this long now we have this long increasing pattern. Maybe this is starting to trick down right there. But anyway, here's the question: How many of these people were vaccinated? How many of these people all along here are fully vaccinated? That's not something I don't think the news media wants to talk about. And the administration doesn't want to talk about. They just want to talk about, you know, you know, skyrocketing cases and skyrocketing hospital beds. We well, you know what? Hospital beds don't mean that much. Okay. Because when everybody goes to the hospital, really need to go to the hospital. But the thing we have to keep in mind about the COVID-19 vaccine in America is that it will not keep you from getting COVID-19. And it may not keep you from dying from COVID-19. The best we can hope for, for the vaccine is one, it'll, it'll reduce the chances that we'll get COVID-19 and, and it'll reduce the severity of the disease and also reduce, there'll also be reduction in the chances that you'll die if you do get it. Of course, the single biggest factor is still in terms of who lives and who dies from COVID-19 is almost certainly still age. And I'm over age 65, so I'm in that high risk, I'm in that higher risk ca category, okay? Let's come down to deaths then. Once again, you see deaths increasing in July. How many, of these, how many of these people here were vaccinated? Okay, someone needs to ask that question. Uh, the news media needs to get on the stick and start, start and asking the hard questions about COVID-19, okay? Because we had a long declining pattern down to mid-July, then all of a sudden it starts skyrocketing again. I don't know why. Okay, this, is, this isn't really good news. This is, the, this is cases for 2020 and cases for 2021. Well. We're only one week into uh, September. So by the end of September, we'll most certainly catch 2020's numbers, uh, cases, and Bob even past 2020's cases, okay? What about deaths? Well, I'm still holding out hope that 2021 will have fewer COVID-19 deaths than 2020 did, all right? Now this is just, what I want you to notice here, how, to, how from July to December, and December, July, it's almost a, it's, it's a mirror. 2020 goes up, 2021 goes down for cases. Same thing with deaths. So what is the current average number of deaths per day? Well, the current average number of deaths per day as of August the 30th is uh, 154,063 cases per day on average. What about deaths? The average number of deaths per day as of August 30th is, is 1,396 deaths per day. Look at this spike in cases. We're coming close to catching this number back over here. But how can that be? We've been, we've been vaccinated since all the way back over here in January. Well, again, the vaccine will not keep you from getting COVID-19. 
Does that mean you shouldn't get it? No, that means absolutely you should get it. Because even if you don't die, you still want to reduce, you, you want to reduce your risk of dying and the risk of a serious infection from COVID-19, okay? Deaths, you can see deaths are climbing over 10,000 10, deaths for last week. Again, how many of these people were vaccinated? Monthly cases, well, you can see that, uh, well, September is way too low. You can see August was the fourth most uh, cases so far. We had a one, two, three, four, five, six month in a row when COVID-19 deaths decreased. But August, for some reason, COVID-19 deaths began to increase. Okay. This is sort of interesting. This, this is a number of people in the U.S. This is a very rough barometer. You know, don't take it, you know, don't pay too much weight in this. But this is, this basically tells us the number of people were 100,000 that has COVID-19. You can see what's interesting. It actually dropped back down to like uh, 30 or something or 40. So right now it's somewhere between 40 and 50 people in the U.S. per 100,000 has COVID-19. What about deaths? You see that little, little tweak of a downturn right there? That's kind of interesting, isn't it? Well, currently less than one half person per 100,000 is dying from COVID-19 in, in America per day. Okay. Well, America, that does conclude your report for today. Also, again, a big shout out to the 11 people who watched this video yesterday. Now I'd like to see, you know, 11 more views and 11 likes. And, of course, a share and a subscription for each one of you folks, okay? Thanks so much, America. We'll catch you tomorrow with an updated report.